Breast cancer presents many challenges to those it impacts. The strength of these fighters cannot be measured or quantified. Behind each warrior is a team willing to do anything to show their support during such a daunting time. Moms and dads, sons and daughters, almost everyone knows someone who's been affected by breast cancer. I'm Sam Annis, number seven for the Thunderbirds, and I'm from Potomac, Maryland. Hi, my name is Lindsay Bubar, and I'm with the Rays of Hope, which is a local nonprofit organization that raises money and resources and awareness for breast cancer survivors and their families in the Western Mass area. My mom was, uh, her name is Demi Annis. Um, she was a, a prosecutor for the federal government. Um, she was an amazing cook, but the best thing she was, was she was a mom. No matter what, she always put being a mom first. Whether she had lots of work or just anything going on, it just, no matter what, being a mom was always priority number one to her. Um, I was diagnosed with breast cancer one week after my 35th birthday. Um, I do not have any family history of breast cancer, and uh, obviously this was a pretty jarring experience. The first time my mom had breast cancer, I was pretty young. Uh, didn't really grasp the whole concept of it. It just kind of heard the word cancer and was obviously very scared and you know they talked us talked to us and made sure that we knew she was going to be okay and that she was in good hands and we trusted the doctors and so, and so that was probably when I was I'm not sure maybe 10 years old and so that was good and she she was okay and I remember she she lost her hair and she wore a wig and she was just very protective of us she wanted us to make sure that she knew she was going to be okay um, and then she was in remission for a while and I think it was maybe 16, 17 years later and kind of came back and she beat it and, and then came back again and she beat it and it's just kind of sad. I mean, she ended up getting lung cancer and then a brain tumor and she really went through so much and even in her last moments she was always putting being a mom first. And, wanted us to be happy and enjoy our day or enjoy whatever it might have been and she's just a very selfless person. And yeah, I think especially when I was younger I couldn't appreciate how selfless she was in, in putting us first for everything. Um, I think maybe the first time I really sat down and tried to appreciate it was in middle school we had to write a paper about who we thought our hero was and it just kind of came to me that it was her. and. So I wrote this paper and got up and spoke in front of the school like the assignment was and you know it was kind of cool to almost interview her and, and learn a little more about her life and not just her as a mom which was which obviously she was amazing so it was kind of cool to learn that but she definitely has given me a perspective on parenting and adulthood and, and something that I will take into being a parent one day. Um, being part of the Race of Hope has been a really, really amazing experience and um, have just become part of a community that is so loving and hopeful and positive. And the Thunderbirds organization has been so amazing with uh, partnering with Rays of Hope to host the Pink in the Rink night. As someone who's been to Pink in the Rink um, a couple of times, it is it's a pretty moving experience and it's very powerful and you can really feel, feel the energy um, in the arena both from the survivors and the families and even families who are there honoring people who are no longer here um, and it's, a, it's just a really, really special experience and I'm happy to be a part of it. On these Pink the Rink games it's just, it's amazing the support not just for the survivors or the families but anyone that's in the stands Pretty much anyone there has is friends or family with someone that has gone through it, and they know that it takes more than just one person to, to fight the fight, and it takes a whole community to kind of help and support each other, and it's just, it really shows that people out there do see the good in this world and, and want to help and support each other and, and get through the tough times together.